Welcome back. Now, I don't know how many of you remember that lovely ad that was uh, Ghar Ka Khana. It was made by Adani Wilma for its brand Fortune Oil. It's the same iconic ad that had gone uh, viral and it eventually helped Adani Wilma to build uh, Fortune Oil as a brand. The company now has launched uh, Fortune Vivo. It's an oil uh, that's meant uh, for diabetics. It's a great move, really, considering that India is known as the diabetes capital of the world. Not very proudly, of course. But Adani Wilma is betting on uh, Fortune Vivo now to make a mark in the minds of Indian consumers. With this uh, latest campaign, they've launched uh, the new product is out in the market. We have with us Atul Chaturvedi. He's CEO at Adani Wilma. Uh, let's find out from him uh, the kind of thought that's gone into Fortune Vivo and the kind of marketing strategies that they're laying out. Atul, great to have you with us on the show. Give us a sense of uh, the thought that's gone behind launching Fortune uh, Vivo as a product. Uh, this is an oil, like I said uh, to our viewers, it helps keep diabetes in control. Uh, what's the thought here? If we look at uh, our own uh, experience with the rice bran oil, which we launched a few years back, which was a whopping success and has created a category for itself, we felt that space is available in the uh, sector on diabetes because India is a diabetic capital of the world with so many people, almost 6.2 crore people uh, suffering from diabetes. We felt that there is space available right. and uh, our research and clinical trials actually proved that the right blend of rice bran oil and uh, sesame oil would probably be the answer for at least controlling diabetes, if not reducing it. Well, there's no taking away from the fact that this is a one-of-its-kind product in India, Atul. So, give us a sense of the marketing activities that uh, you've planned, the kind of ad campaign that you've got going uh, in order to hit the right chord, really, with consumers with this product. The campaign definitely is going to be big because our biggest task is to educate the Indian consumer. And uh, for that, we will be using all kinds of uh, uh, media channels, print, television, and what have you, and the internet. So we will be present across the country because we've got to educate the Indian consumer. And that is going to be a Herculean task, and uh, we will not be shying away from investing money because we feel we have a winner in this product, and it's going to be a game changer. But here's the challenge, Atul, and I'm sure you've seen it and considered it uh, while you were chalking out strategies because the oil consumption pattern, it varies from state to state in India. Like in uh, West Bengal, uh, which consumes a lot of mustard oil, Kerala consumes a lot of coconut oil. So how easy is it to uh, wean them away from what they're really used to and uh, get them uh, to buy your product? Uh, this used to be, we had huge regional skews in the past. But with Indian dependence on imports growing to almost 70%, those regional skews are breaking down. And we find, and with the Indian population moving from one corner to the other corner, lot of uh, habits are changing in down south. Uh, whether it be west or north, I think uh, habits are changing. So we don't see too much of a problem as far as regional skews are concerned. We feel that we have a winner which should be available across the country. Because healthy is something the whole, whole of the country is going to be bothered on. Fair enough. So who's going to be the target audience now for this oil? Is it the, uh, the upper middle class sector that you're targeting? It will be essentially targeted at people who are on the affluent sector. And, but who all uh, are bothered about the health. And I'm sure uh, the health consciousness in the Indians are, is improving big time. Although, since this is a product uh, for diabetics specifically, uh, generally people are used to uh, limiting the addition of sugar for diabetic patients in beverages. But then, uh, cooking oil, I don't know how much you can segregate that uh, in the kitchen. How can you uh, actually have something for each member of the house when you're talking about cooking oil? So, how are you going to make uh, this product appeal uh, to even uh, non-diabetics uh, living in the same household? No, 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 no. This food, uh, not necessarily you've got to cook it for the diabetic patients. This is actually uh, ensuring that uh, a prevention of diabetes is not... Uh, so I think normal food can be cooked in this. There's nothing wrong in that. And give us a sense of your pricing strategy as well, Atul, uh, considering you're targeting the affluent class here. I would say it will be not really for the affluent class. It will be, it will be affordable. And the price is not going to be very exorbitant. It's going to be affordable. Also, let's get a sense of the competition within this space because though you may not have something uh, direct by way of competition when you're talking about cooking oil that's meant uh, for diabetics, within the healthy oil segment, there's enough uh, competition over there. So how do you think you're going to fare in that overall category? 
to answer your question, I think we have a winner with us and uh, we'll see, we'll fight it out in the marketplace. But uh, at the end of the day, it all boils down to how the Indian consumer reacts. And we feel that the Indian consumer is <laughs> getting more and more health conscious, more and more worried about the diabetes. And I'm sure we will definitely have the first uh, mover advantage. And broadly speaking, if you can walk us through the kind of challenges uh, that you're facing within the market that you function in. The challenge will basically be in educating the Indian consumer about the benefits of this oil, which is largely going to be taken care of by the communication as we go forward. This is where we feel our biggest challenge is going to be. And considering that you're the sixth largest uh, food company in India, Atul, uh, what would you say is the USP of uh, the kind of products that you bring out? Uh, perhaps you can uh, tell us what your biggest advantages are when you uh, talk about uh, the edge you have over competition. First mover advantage, we are present pan-India. We have a huge distribution network available. And we are a company which is uh, giving a serious product uh, over the years. It's a, trusted, it's a trusted name. Fortune is a trusted name. And the Indian housewife uh, trusts us. And because of that trust, uh, we try and keep improving ourselves and keep innovating. Of course, Atul, you have a wide variety of products under the Adani umbrella that you've got to take care of. Tell us uh, about the biggest brand that stands in your portfolio. As of today, we are looking at uh, uh, Vivo. The other product which we feel uh, is going to be a game changer is the Basmati rice. And we certainly would not uh, lose uh, sight of our other products uh, and like sunflower oil and soya oil, which is our staple. So I'm sure we will have exciting uh, times ahead. All right, Atul, pleasure having you with us. Thanks for joining us today on the show. And of course, we wish you great luck going ahead. On the other side, we're going to review Coca-Cola's iconic brand, Maza's latest ad campaign. That's coming up in just a moment. Do stay with us.